good day everyone welcome back in today's video we'll be taking a look at a boxed atari vcs aka the 2600 And here it is. So this is an Atari video computer system, AKA the VCS, AKA the 2600. And this is pretty fresh. This box, I gotta say, is pretty minty. And to go along with that, I have a nice short stack of pretty good, pretty good shape minty games we're gonna unbox all these in just a minute. I figured I would answer the question up front of what you guys are thinking, and that is how did I get such a clean and fresh and minty Atari VCS? Well, it was pretty simple. It actually came to me. I had a coworker just straight up ask me if I was interested in this Atari that they still happen to have that they bought brand new back in the early 80s and want to know instead of them throw it in the trash was I interested in, in taking it and I of course was I mean I do have a few Atari things now and they're in great shape you know as far as they can be for nearly 40 you know 35 40 year old games but you know this one I didn't even know was in the box when I agreed to take it I just said you know I'd be definitely willing to take it and they had a few games with it but when they actually brought it to me and said well here it is when I saw the shape of the box, I was just blown away by how good a shape it's in, how good a shape these games are in. So we're gonna get to the bench right now. We're gonna unbox it and take a look at all of it. This box is big enough that I can barely fit it in the frame of the setup I have here, but my goodness. So here it is, Atari video computer system. So hence why I'm calling it the VCS for the entire video, because at this point it still was known as the VCS and the 2600 was merely the model number still it wasn't completely known as this so looking at this box one thing apparent is this is a four switch on here not a six switch atari with the other two switches here they were moved to the back of the console at this point so they would put this unit about 1980 and i know that just from knowledge and also it it does say that right here while it also says on here features on the atari video computer system are true to life game sounds i think that's debatable but regardless on-screen scoring difficulty options color on color televisions no batteries needed all right right here we do show where it says warner communications they did own atari at this point to come with combat looks like it's the text label of combat and flipping around looking at these we have pretty much some of the similar stuff on here so we're showing that the atari video computer system includes the two sets of controllers combat game program with 27 action pack game variations the tv game switch box and the ac power supply the side art is actually the same for the front and the back just a little more information about you know build and expand your atari game library atari offers a wide selection of blah 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 the uh, funniest thing i found here is the little star star on othello and then we go down to Othello is a registered trademark of CBS Incorporated, which is fine, for strategy in disc game and equipment. Why was that part needed? I got the trademark of CBS, but why did they put that all apart? And artwork. So these are actually full box arts of what the show is classic thinking games, sports games, educational games, and strategy games all the Atari lineup, and much more only available. Have you played Atari today? So moving on, let's get this cardboard out of here. Take a look at the system. For some reason, this cardboard was a lot of effort to get out of the box, and it took me quite a bit. So here it is, out of the box. And well, one thing that I did find surprising is this. So these are not Atari regular, I think what, CX-25 joysticks. These are Boss joysticks. And they twist around, fire button on top, comfortable to hold, and they're heavy. I'm actually surprised to see these in here. So I'm wondering if the other joysticks are in here too. We have the paddles right here. We'll open them in just a minute. Open the main show. Take a look at it. And there it is. So, got a little cardboard insert back here. I'm guessing this has some wiring in it. Take a look at that. Yep, there's our AV wire for this console. And look at this. Nice attention to detail here. Even though this is just in the box, 
you know, we have the Atari power adapter, contains one, and I'm actually surprised for it being in the box that they have like a nice shiny cardboard artwork for that. That's interesting. Here's the instructions for those boss joysticks that were in the box. And I'm not seeing the original joystick, so the owner of this, apparently she didn't like those original ones and decided to opt to only have these. Right, we'll take a look at the panels and, oh, what's hiding under here? Now this I've actually never seen. I have never seen the original Atari instructions. These are pretty nice. And look, the, the warranty card? Atari Consumer Division, Lincoln Boulevard, Middlesex, New Jersey. Look at that. This is really nice. And I don't think this is yellowed. I think this is just the color it was. But that's in remarkable shape. So again, these are the paddles. Atari Inc. Consumer Division. Now this one's in Sunnyvale, but these are made in Taiwan. Open these guys up. These look pretty unused, I would say. And there they are. So we have a couple paddles. They both look dust free and they feel really good. No kind of clicky or sticky or anything like that. They feel really good. I imagine they work good. They might need a greasing, but they probably work just fine. So we're gonna get this out of the box and take a better look at it. Looks like it's in pretty good shape. It's a little dusty, but not, not as bad as I've seen for other VCS consoles. Again, four switch, and for anybody new, what I mean is the original Atari, these two difficulty switches that are up here, originally they were here. And they were, for some reason, I'm guessing for production costs, were moved to the back of the console. And moving to the back of the console, you have your channel selector of two and three here. Again, those difficulty switches, the controller, sports, and the power input. Besides that, pretty much basic Atari 4 switch. Looking at the bottom, sticker still intact. Looks like it's in good shape. You have the embossment for the channel select AB, which was not used. The sticker's intact, Sunnyvale, California, FCC stuff. It has this little speaker hole grill. You can kind of see it if you move it just slightly. Never using these Ataris, but it's in the casing. Next up, we have these games. So before we open these games, I will show these couple. They were loose, they were included. We have baseball, super challenge football, lock and chase. Also had the instructions for those M Network games. Actually, not those, but some other M Network games. Atari catalog, I've never seen this one. I've seen this catalog though. And the Atari Force DC comic. If anybody wants a closer look at those comics, let me know. I will be happy to do a video showing those books, those comics, whatever you like. So first up, and I think, I actually meant to show this one last, but it's already here now. Probably the best condition of all the box. This looks pretty much brand new. I'm gonna unbox a very old Atari game. And this is from Ann and Hope, which I believe is only a New England type store, possibly just Rhode Island and Mass. It's been opened, obviously. But open this guy up. Wow, look at that. That is impeccable shape for Missile Command. Little bit of pull on this bottom label, not too bad. Looks really clean. And inside, oh, another one of these catalogs. So now I got more. So look at that. We have the Atari catalog here again. Missile came in book, and for some reason, a ColecoVision insert is in here. Don't think that was meant to be there. I'm sorry, a Coleco insert for Atari games. Next up is Combat. This, of course, would have been inside of the console when it was purchased. Really good shape still. And let's open this guy up. No, that's interesting. So even though the box showed the text label version on that Atari box, this is the picture label version. Really good shape on this one. And I'm guessing instructions and whatnot are gonna be lurking in here. Yep, there's our instructions for combat and that's all that's in that box. Next up, what is believed to be one of the worst versions of Pac-Man ever, is Pac-Man for the VCS 2600. This box is a little more beat up, but looks like it's here. Open this guy up. That's in good shape. No label tearing, label still shiny, the glue hasn't bled through. Nice shape there. And oh, got a couple more inserts in here. Got that Atari catalog, Pac-Man instructions. Asteroids. These are great shape. Just again, what a great deal this was. Asteroids cart, great shape. 
don't even have to talk much about that. We know it's in great shape at this point. And we have, there's that catalog again. There's, what's this? Oh, come on now. Oh, a little addendum. So, attention Asteroids game cartridge owners. So here is Defender. This one says it's packed with the action comic right here. So we'll check that out inside. Back of it showing special feature. A few of these showed special feature on them. $34.95 from Zare. Now, I don't know, again, I don't know if, I remember Zare when I was a kid, and I don't know if Zare was a only Rhode Island, New England thing, or if it was more, it became Ames, if anybody had Ames in the area, pretty much all the Zare stores became Ames at one point, and then Ames closed. So we have Defender, good cart. Let's see, is that comic in here? Instructions, catalog, no comic, so that comic in the box must have been with us. Space Invaders, again, this is also from Zare, $29.95. Show in the back, this one's a pretty simple back on here, no picture, just the joystick. Space Invaders cart, I gotta say, my Space Invaders carts are pretty beat up, this one's in great shape. This will go back in the box. And let's see what's in here. And there's our Space Invaders game program instructions. This seems a little more flimsier than the other ones, but it's all there. It's all color. That's really nice. And the last one, one of the best ones. I don't know about this version, but Donkey Kong by Nintendo plays like the real arcade game. That's not too bad. This one was put up by Coleco. You knew that. On the back, standard affair. We have the controller. We have a screenshot in this one, like that Space Invaders box. We'll take a look in here. Ah, there it is. The Coleco insert, it's in one of the other games, more than likely was in this game. So we'll have to switch that around. There's our Coleco branded cart for the VCS. Any instructions in here? We do. I don't think I've ever seen the Donkey Kong instructions. Oh, there's two for some reason. Oh, wait, no. 78270B, 78270A. That's interesting. I don't know why there's two. Quick glance. Oh, look at it. Coleco Industries of Amsterdam, New York. This one has, well, kind of the same thing. All right, don't know why there's two sets of instructions. We'll have to look into that more later. So that Atari stuff, such good shape. Those controllers, a bit of a surprise to see those joysticks in the box. I really enjoyed taking a look at the stuff. I hope you guys did too. If you like Atari, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that sub button. We have new stuff coming out all the time. I'll see you guys next time.